Welcome back to my channel, Ageless Beauty Nation. And in this video today, we are going over my journey through breast cancer and also through weight loss. So I'm gonna take you guys back to about 2016. Um, I was living my best life. I'm always living my best life. But just to kind of go over my journey, um, I had a relationship. Um, of course, my two beautiful kids, who are now college kids now, both of them. I was just enjoying life, finding new um, opportunities, new projects, new options. Everything looked bright. So by 2018, this is at my 47th birthday, I found out I had breast cancer. And I had to have a lumpectomy as you can see in the picture here on my right side, I thought it was gonna be the lowest moments of my life, but instead it turned out to be the beginning of my journey. I, had a, I have a wonderful breast cancer team, breast cancer uh, surgeon, and then of course after my surgery, everything came back negative. So. I started going on a journey of changing my life. I decided to go natural with my hair, and I absolutely loved it. It was so thick, so pretty. I wanted to get away from putting all the chemicals and everything into my hair so that I can kind of remove all of those um, you know, chemical properties from my body. It wasn't a genetic component with my type of cancer. So I had to figure out that it had to be something else. I even started my own natural skincare line where I, you know, I use all natural ingredients. I have sugar scrubs, body butters, because I also wanted to help other people out. And especially with my body butter for people going through radiation therapy. And it took off. Everybody um, really liked it. I started selling it locally and online and even a vegan influencer, Tabitha Brown, on her Very Good Monday shows actually premiered it. So I was so happy about that. But by the time my son was getting ready to graduate and go off to college, my weight in my midsection had just got out of control. Then all that pretty natural hair from all of the radiation I had, going through radiation therapy, I lost my hair. But you know what? I still tried to make the best of it and came up with a shortcut style that actually worked for me and I actually liked it. So I had to try to get into taking care of myself, get this weight off of me. I started taking care of my skin, um, using my own natural products. As you probably can see there, I'm actually, this is one of my videos where I was doing a facial video, trying to take care of my skin and um, you know, make sure I try to stay healthy from not only on the inside, but also on the outside. Um, my products are all natural, made from things such as um, shea butter, coconut oil, things like that, just to put natural ingredients on my skin and everything. But my biggest thing was to get my midsection down and to get into these workouts. So, you know, I made sure I changed my diet did a lot of workouts as you can see here where I'm getting ready to do um, my workout. You know, I also incorporate a waist trainer because if I'm trying to get that midsection down, I also want to shape it as well. So, you know, getting into my exercises was a big important thing to me and, you know, and I just kept going. And as you can probably see in this video, my midsection is getting toner and toner. Um, I actually, from the picture that you saw that I was um, at my son's um, military ceremony, I was actually 202 pounds. I'm five foot 10, so, you know, it might not look as thick, but, you know, the thing is, I still, I wanted to feel comfortable for me. I don't know about anybody else, but I wanted my own level of comfort and that decision was my choice, my business. I made that for me. So going back to where we are now with um, one of my workouts that I'm doing, I'm getting, you know, warmed up and getting stretched. You know, ladies, as you get older, 
you have to find a way, you know, to kind of keep that weight loss off, whether it's keeping your stress levels down, changing your diet, um, keeping negative energies from around you. Those things are very, very important because they would definitely put on belly fat. Hydrate yourself, you know, drink a lot of water, keep the uh, body nourished um, and also hydrated is also extremely important. And try to make sure that you, you know, get some form of activity. If you, even low impact, I, you know, a lot of my workouts that I do is low impact because of my right knee. So I have to be mindful about, you know, the type of workouts that I do. But even if so, look for those workouts that you can do a modified version of so it won't be so, you know, so much on your, your knees and joints and things like that. You know, um, one of the people that I follow is Leslie Sansone. She has a lot of um, low impact workouts for people, you know, who have knee issues. And a lot of her workouts are walking workouts. So if you can't get outside, I know in certain areas, you know, you might be under quarantine and there's restrictions on going to parks or trails. She has a lot of walking workouts that you can do right at home. So there's no excuses for you. And a lot of her workouts are, you know, under 15 minutes. She does have three and four mile workouts, which I've done her uh, 5Ks too as well. 45 minutes tops. So you can at least get it in. And even if it's not restricted in your area, but it's raining outside or it's stormy, it's a good time if you kind of carve out that time to get some, some exercise and some fitness in. It's an absolute wonder for your body. And you won't realize, you know, you might be tired the first day that you start the workout, but as you go on, your body gets adjusted to you working out. And I'm telling you, before you know it, your stamina has increased. You can keep going a lot further and you can push yourself a lot more too because now the body has become accustomed to you working out and sometimes it even craves it. So if you feel like sitting down one of those days, it's like, eh, your body is like, uh-uh, nope, I'm addicted to this. I'm going to get up and I'm going to do this today. So, you know, it's always ways to get your workout in. I mean, there's other people that um, I follow with their working walkouts and low impact workouts such as um, Be Fit by Amy. I also follow on Facebook in a Facebook group where we do a lot of strength training with um, Robin Edwards. If you check out her Facebook group, um, Rob Body Fitness, she has live kickboxing videos. She also have uh, live strength training videos, stepping videos. And I'm telling you, at this age, I'm 49. I'm about to be 50 years old. You know, it's not time to slow down. No rocking chairs anytime soon for me. So, you know, you, you just got to get out there and do it. You know, get that energy to keep going. I wanted to get rid of that, that, that um, fat around my midsection, shape my midsection, you know, so I can look and I feel so much better after I work out. You know, a lot of people's like, oh my God, I'm going to be exhausted and tired for me. After I work out, I have so much energy. Oh my God. And I feel empowered as well, you know? And one thing, another reason why I really wanted to increase my fitness as well too, is because when you work out, and especially being a breast cancer survivor, is that you, um, it tends to kind of help, I won't say cure or prevent, but it kind of helps with the reoccurrence of it not coming back. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you change your diet, keep your stress levels down. It may be different if you have a genetic component, but this is so important for me as, you know, I'm trying to stay, continue to stay cancer free. As you notice my breast cancer awareness blanket, I absolutely love, love, love my little blanket. It has a lot of motivation for me on it as well, but you know, you, you have to, as you get older, make sure that your joints and everything stay lubricated, keep movement going, stay energized and everything. And these are some of my now pictures. 
after working out um, and then slimming my midsection down, I am so proud of myself. You know, I mean, I am now, again, 49 years old. I just had a birthday. I started my journey a few months ago with working out. And as you can see, my results, I absolutely love it. And I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. This is not going to stop me. And as you see in the video, before I started, my midsection was, and I weighed 202 pounds. I actually got myself down to 181 pounds. Again, I'm five foot 10, and this fits for me. I'm a two year survivor at this point. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you for watching my journey. Subscribe, like, and share this video, and I will see you on the next one.